So, everyone doing all right tonight? Welcome. Thank yeah. you very much for all the yeah. inspiring words. It's really, really wonderful stuff. I, uh, I love your love for the Coen Brothers. Uh, I can spot Coen Brothers movies everywhere. Like, like you quote, I caught, I caught, I caught, I definitely caught No Country, Big Lebowski. I think Miller's Crossing was in there, but Oh Brother, Where Art Thou definitely was. As well. yeah. yeah, True Grit. Okay. Very nice. Good stuff. We got a romance going on. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm a born and raised Minnesota boy. I gotta love the Coen Brothers, man. That's my people. That's my people. <laughs> You betcha. And I ain't gonna pay no dollar for a corn muffin that's half dough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway. <laughs> so, this is called Fodder for Remembrance. Uh, it was a different piece, initially. Uh, there were different costumes, props, and scenery. It was a different me than the one you see with these notions of emotions for which I felt the need to protect. I had these undefined ideas. I wanted someone to perfect. I wanted somebody to need me to be perfect, i.e. to be comfort. Excuse me. I'm gonna take a breath. Hang on a second. I'm coming right back to you. <laughs> I came up here with the full intention of just blowing it. This is just rehearsal. I'm just jerking off. As soon as he gives me the finger, I'm gonna give him the finger right back. <laughs> Do it. Like, ah, this is my mic. I'm on here. Come on, kill it. So, all right, all right, all right. Start again. All right. So it was a different piece initially. There were different costume props and scenery. It was a different me than the one you see, with these notions of emotions for which I felt the need to protect. I had these undefined ideas. I wanted someone to perfect. I wanted somebody to need me to be perfect, i.e. to be imperfect and live uncomfortably, rejecting, disrespecting hypotheticals such as these notions of perfection I romanticize excessively. But here I am, right now, and suddenly that disease of melodramatic-like twist, the pendulum trapeze of our relationship-like tryst, I duly remember and truly do not miss. Ah, but what I wouldn't give for just one more kiss. <laughs> that passion-laced press of our longing lips, the dance of tongues, the collision of hips, the collusion of our breath, and sweat and spit the motion the ocean like motion as our souls are twist but then it's like well why stop there <laughs> it's not like we were ever unaware of the way to make mutual appeal it's not like we don't remember how it feels it would be different i suppose to be familiar with the strings and the things that we lied about before i guess it would register as bizarre it could be categorized as anomaly with the roles played out so casualty, casually, the curtains closed on us, so now it's just you and me. These two sets of material energy, these two profoundly, astoundingly complex chemical equations, these two arrangements of light and life and love, these two manifest representations of one exhaustively evolved amoeba. These two dangerously combustive atomic potions pretending to be placebo. These two of God's more majestic signifiers staring into each other with a very familiar desire, with very familiar eyes and very familiar gazes that start familiar lies and then Familiar conflict raises, and then we're back, trying to take it back, and the pain gets recalled so clear. But isn't touch just automatic here? I mean, we all recall how I gracelessly fall, caving into your within. How the impulse of my pulse was to be engulfed by the rapture of our kiss in. How the breath in my chest would tend to cleft when your tongue would touch my skin. And I'd find myself racing, horizon chasing ends so that I might begin again. Or the way your will would turn to water, and how our hearts beat hotter and hotter, and how we learned what he meant by fodder for remembrance. 
when blanks would transform into some liquid cadence as we would conspire with concupiscence. Since then, there are moments when I miss you so inside. But it would be totally inappropriate, I know. Besides, you've met someone else. Quite frankly, so have I. So cross my heart and hope to die. Shameful needles gouged in my eyes. I swear I'll never love that way again. And I suppose we will unjust be friends. Thank you. <laughs>